So monk fruit um, is something you may or may not be aware of. And the question that comes up often is, does it affect gut bacteria? And it's been being studied, this plant, because it's an important sugar substitute. It has something like 150 to 300 times um, the sweet quality that sugar does without any sugar. No sugar, no carbs, no calories, right? Big time important for diabetics, for people looking to lose weight. And for those rest of us who just want to stay really healthy, right? Um, sugar is known to... Um, cause inflammation, can harm your liver, can harm your heart. It just, it ripples through your entire system. So monk fruit, Seretia gravesinonori or Momordica grosvenori, right? Same plant, two slightly different botanical names just to make life fun, native to northern Thailand and southern China, is a beautiful, beautiful plant that not only has this non-sugar capability, but it's also loaded with antioxidants um, and important cancer preventing uh, mechanisms. And we go into all of that in the healing or health session. Um, but in case you're not familiar with it, it really is not not so that it's just not sugar. It also comes loaded with all these other goodies with it. Um, but does it help your gut health? Well, the long and short of it is, is that unlike sugar alcohols, right, which are manufactured as non-sweeteners, your erythritols, your um, xylitols, those kinds of things, um, even though those are low-calorie sugars, they sometimes can upset the gastrointestinal tract, right? They can create bloating or diarrhea. Monk fruit doesn't do any of that. And some non-sugar sweeteners, they may not be bad for your gut health, but they may not also be very good for it monk fruit is amazing for your gut health. It literally helps support acidophilus and bifidus and promote um, a strong and healthy gut environment. And that is important to your overall health. Interestingly enough, in traditional Chinese medicine, the sweet flavor uh, is identified with being nutritious, with being, you know, helping to build strong qi and blood. Um, it's, this is an herb that is known for also clearing heat, for moistening the lungs and intestines. It's really very importantly used to help with coughs and uh, dry throats. So it has a lot of application way beyond just being a sweetener. And it may be something you want to be getting more into your diet. Check out our Healing Herb Health session. Um, uh, to find out more about how to use this, how you can be taking advantage of it. Um, and... Uh, I really look forward to connecting with you. In the meanwhile, stay sweet yourself and use less sugar.